UFC 109, Relentless. Check your local listings. Frank Trigg's been around a long time. Even in the past, I'm like, you know, that guy would be a fun guy to fight. You know, he's a really good wrestler. He's strong. He's aggressive. And uh, when they called me up to fight him, I said right away, I'm like, you know, that's a guy that... In the back of my head, I always pitched myself fighting that guy. I thought it would be a fun fight. I think it's going to be an exciting fight. I think it's going to be a very violent fight. Obviously, if you look at his fights, he hasn't really submitted anybody that, that's worth anything in his MMA career, but he's knocked out GSP, well, TKO GSP. And so, obviously, the FC's hands are a little more dangerous than his submission game is, but both are, both are dangerous. I mean, third round, he's tired. He throws a big right-handed haymaker, and he still knock you out. And third round, he's tired. He throws in a quick triangle. You still tap. I mean, either way, he's dangerous either side. You know, Frank Trick's funny. You know, he tries to play some mind games, and he tries to to get you thinking of different things, man. You know, he, I I can see the stress coming out of him, you know. And uh, he should, you know, he should, you know, concentrate on himself, his game plan. I'm straight. I have no problem. Uh, I, I feel I'm going to take him out on Saturday night. I probably got in his head a little bit. I mean, I call him Oopa Loopa. That kind of irritated him a little bit, but... You know, I don't know. You know we'll find out Saturday night, I and mean, who knows if I got into him or not. It doesn't. You, know, you can't tell until you hit him in the face, and you tell he's fighting from anger, or is he fighting from technique, and what's happening. When it comes down to, to skill, I think I've, I've got him beat skill-wise. I, I believe that his strongest strength is going to lead to uh, one of my strongest strengths. He's aggressive. He tries to hurt you, and when you do that, you put yourself out there to get hurt. You know, Matt Hughes played a pretty safe game. Uh, I see Frank, Frank Trigg trying to hurt me. And in doing so, you know, on the floor, he opens up to hit me. I'm going to be, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to look, take his limbs off. I'm just one of those guys that puts the fight where the fight goes. I mean, if it stands up, I'll be with my hands. If it goes down, I'll take him down, you know, and, and put him, put him where I want to put him on the ground and stay away from his jiu-jitsu and ground upon him. I mean, it's just, that's just how I fight. So, like I said, we'll just see what happens Saturday night. I mean, I don't, you can't tell, I mean, what, what's going to happen until we actually get in there and do it. UFC 109, relentless. Check your local listings.